Watch how we transform this piece of press wood and turn it into an awesome holiday gift. This is Steve with Upstart Epoxy, and let's get ready to roll. So we started by routing all the edges for the boards that we were gonna use. We wanted to get this out of the way, that way we were ready to roll. So we got this Krylon Fusion Primer. We went ahead and used a darker color because the base colors of all of these boards were darker in nature, so it would blend in better. Then we got Upstart Epoxy's Art Resin, which is so awesome to work with because the cure time is a lot faster and the workability time is like 35 minutes. Who can't beat that? Went ahead and poured it one to one ratio, mixed it with some of the fabulous colors in the Upstart Epoxy's Mica Pigment Pack. If you haven't checked these out, I suggest you go ahead and do it. The colors in there are just super awesome. Then we decided to go ahead and do a dirty pour as the first layer of epoxy, that way we create a layered effect. A dirty pour is simply pouring two colors into one can or mixing cup. So we poured them all out at the same time. And here we went ahead and used two cups for two different colors, but it's gonna give you virtually the same effect as the first pour. These creative art pours are basically the same concept as a flood coat. It's all gonna level out. So you gotta do basically the same stuff that you do in a flood coat. You're gonna even out the edges, get a good constant overflow on the sides, make sure everything's prim and proper. And the cool thing with these is that you can take them virtually anywhere you wanna go. It's all up to you with the way you wanna do it and the way you wanna design it. This is just the base layer. So now we're gonna do our second layer. And this is gonna really, really bring out that depth effect and that two layer effect that we're going for. We just basically wanna get the epoxy on there and get the colors on there. So when you pour this second layer, you can just do it however you want to. We got a little creative and crazy with it, and you can too. That's the best part of making these. It's all about creativity and letting everything blend in on its own. You can use a paintbrush for blending in areas that you're not happy with, or for helping with the edges to overflow on the sides. That's what we're doing here. We wanna make sure that the sides are completely filled with epoxy and that there's no air gaps or areas that the epoxy didn't blend over in. And as always, a heat gun is perfectly acceptable to get out all these bubbles. We're not gonna use the heat gun in this situation to move the epoxy around like in other videos. We want it to just take out the bubbles. Here we have a complete product. It's all cured up, it's all dried up. We went ahead and measured the board, found the center point, and we got our decal, made sure that it was centered, and placed it right on. The really cool thing about this next step is that you may see air bubbles underneath those decals, but we mixed up a batch of tabletop epoxy from Upstart and we poured that on and that totally took care of the bubbles. So this step is just basically your regular flood coat. If you're used to flood coating and you know how to flood coat, that's all you do. And what that does is it seals in everything and it makes sure that there's no line or rigid area around that decal and your base layer. It's all one smooth surface. And more importantly, it's crisp, it's clean, and it's ready to give away, almost. We still have one more step. We have to take it outside and grind off all these edges. We used a sanding flap disc. It takes the bubbles off so quick. Then we centered the top and attached the mounting hardware. And that's it, folks. These pieces came out gorgeous. Birthdays, anniversaries, the holidays, or whatever. You can do it too. If you like this video and you wanna see more, make sure and click that subscribe button. Also hit that like button and ring that notification bell. This is Steve with Upstart Epoxy. Thank you.